Hello, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. And for this one, I'm going to be playing Spain. Yes, you heard it right. I'm going to be playing Spain. The, the country that had a very exciting time in this, uh, or a very, uh, very exciting time during this these few years ahead of the, the starting date. And... I am actually kind of excited for this one because it's not going to be as bad as China because China was pretty bad, in my opinion. At least we, for, at least we unified it, but this one, uh, it's going to be a little, a little different. A little different than that. So we're going to have to do a little something. We're going to do something else because it's going to be a civil war. We're going to have to win the civil war. Um, we're going to have to build up an army. At least we have... A better spot. They see a supply. There's not gonna be really supply. They need supply issues. I want to form Iberia, so I want to do that because I can do that with the, one of the mods I got. So and then also I was checking before. You can also other than Iberia, Iberia you could form. You could form West Rome, what West Rome, which is kind of cool. Looking forward to that if I can. But I'm just gonna go for uh, Iberia form for this video. I think. And then see what else I can do from there. But yeah, let's just let's just hop straight into it. Uh, but actually, hold before we do that, I think I might go historical AI, AI for this one, and then see if I could fight Germany and Italy myself, because I'm gonna have to if I want to form West Rome, or I go, uh, I just join up with them. But who knows? I'll see uh, later in the game and see if something crazy happens. But. We first gotta focus on the Civil War during the start and building up, so I hope it goes good. As Spain, we don't have the largest army as crazy as the last one, where we have all our crazy as uh, China, where we have all those debuffs to our uh, economy. For this one, um, we're actually we're like weak, and we have good potential to become strong. Uh, one of the things is that Tungsten won't be a problem for whole game when I annex Portugal because look how much tungsten they have man that's a lot of tungsten I won't I will never run out and then I can also build infrastructure in the states of steel to get more steel and also I can build the factories that give me aluminum and steel so that's pretty good we don't have the the best amount of factories but at least we could build them faster so that's a good thing and I think I might go fascist so it can't make sense I'm gonna go fascist yeah yeah I'm gonna go fascist um, our focus tree does get bigger when the Civil War ends. When we win the Civil War, uh, the Civil War, we win. Uh, we get more. Uh, we get more. We get a bigger focus tree. That's I can I can get the word in my head. But we get uh, we get more focuses. Our focus tree gets bigger. Just that our focus tree looks a little smaller now. So yeah. But for now, I just I'm just gonna try to set my division to the spot over here. So when the war starts, they're uh, they're gonna be the border. I'm gonna try to rush to Barcelona to get the um, to get these factories and also like get more uh, to get the states because that'll make them weaker if I do that. So I'm not gonna make any any divisions. I'm gonna make uh, equipment for my field at once. And I, uh, as you can see, I also have yeah you can see the formal nations they form Europe, Latin Union, and Iberia and West Rome. Like I said, I'm trying to form Iberia at least, which it needs just part. I need to get take Portugal. That's about it. Not much going on. Air Force, we're going to we only got much of an Air Force, Navy. Not really. We have two battleships, which is actually kind of interesting. I didn't, know I didn't think of two battleships. Five light cruisers, 11 destroyers, and 12 subs. So you know what? Not the worst Navy in the world. We got bigger one than Portugal, at least. Oh yeah, we did the first focus. The first focus, and then, oh yeah, you get longer. So I guess we do all these, and then uh, down here, I guess this, yeah, you bend, you bend right here. So yeah, we do fighting military, military conspiracy, army connection, Africa, strike first, unify. It's actually pretty good. Just political power plus five percent, stability plus five percent, solidify. Yeah, which gives us a bunch of good stuff. Yeah, sorry if I'm louder because I'm leaning in uh, right next to my mic. Yeah, I want to get the civil war started as soon as I can, so I can get to winning the civil war, get get over with it, so I can do other things. Okay. And 35 days, we'll have the Civil War started. 
And there's some nice buffs on that uh, focus too, so I wish myself some luck. Yep. I clicked the uh, the uh, vent pop up really fast, an accident, but the civil war has started, my friends. And now yeah, I keep doing these focuses. I have a lot of divisions now. They're volunteers. No, I have Francisco Franco to lead my armies, lead my armies around. Come on, Italian tanks, help me fight this. Help me take this right here, please. They're just sitting there, they're not doing anything. I, I need your help, please. Oh look, now they attack. At least they're helping me. At least they're, at least they're helping me. I take Barcelona, that give me a factory so I can start producing artillery, which I need to produce. I need more factories and guns afterwards. Cause I'm at a deficit of like, yeah, 10,000 guns. That's a lot of guns. Pick that factory now. No, I'll just send you guys to Madrid. I'm sorry, take Madrid. Cause that has a lot of, Madrid has a lot of factories in there. Oh okay, yeah, I just took Madrid, just like that. Look at that, that is textbook right there. That is literally perfect. Um, I think I'm gonna go down and take Valencia now. So I get my divisions over there. I think we just circle more divisions as well. Look at that. Textbook, bro. Textbook, I'm telling you, this is too easy. It's too easy around here. Bro, I just found out I paused the recording and I uh, didn't, I forgot to unpause, so I, I just missed out on uh, some content that I was uh, talking about. And uh, yeah, this is what Japan has done to, to China. And uh, this is what the Soviets have done too. The Soviets did a lot. They, they've taken like the coastline in some parts. But China did not last long. Um, Germany's taken more of uh, Czechoslovakia, which that just happened. But China's gonna die soon. Um, I was talking about my navy right before I unpaused it, but then that just sucks. That, I forgot to unpause my recording. Wow, uh, uh, that's like the first big mistake I've had in a while. That actually really, that really sucks. I lost like 15 minutes, 20 minutes of recording. That I could have gotten there. Okay, well, I guess we'll start from here. We learn from our mistakes, people. We learn from our mistakes. It's all right. Why my navies do this? Why they uh, they split when you try to combine them? See how they're combined, and then I unpause, and then they just split again. I don't know why that happens. So I am left wondering forever until I figure it out. I'm wondering if uh, I don't know if you guys probably know. And it looks like uh, World War II has kicked off and started. It just started. They're not. Oh, that's really happening. <coughs> what we do know is that Poland is going to die. That is one thing that we can gather from this. There. I'm gonna see how fast they die, though. Let's see if they die quick or slow. I'm gonna see how. Yeah, I'll see how fast they get the, uh, it takes for them to get to Warsaw. Fighting Warsaw? No. They're not fighting Warsaw currently. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. I would, I would have gotten it earlier by now, but it's the AI. What do you expect? I'm gonna split. I'm gonna wish I, what I should do. I think, I don't know, like, to f do my own thing. I think I might do join the Axis for now. And then unify Iberia. Oh, they still haven't taken Warsaw yet. This kind of, it's kind of slow. This is really slow. Really, uh, very slow so far. Bro, oh, look at China. How hasn't China capitulated yet? This kind of, wait, what was, well, the world, why is that the icon there? What? It's kind of weird. Okay, this is great. Germany denies my uh, my offer to join their faction, which is all right, sure. I don't know why you would deny me, but I guess it was a bad idea doing that anyway, so. Yeah, don't worry about it. We're gonna declare war on them in a soon, and then it's gonna allow me to form Iberia. I don't, get I don't got an air force, but they, oh, they, they do. They're making planes. I'm making planes, but I'm starting to. I only have one factory on planes, so. I'm just gonna take a minute because I'm just now building military factories because I'm still trying, still trying to get civs because I have a low uh, amount of civs but more than before so it's good. I got my focus to take Portugal and we will now act on that. Yeah we can push in every province no problem. And they, don't, they don't have divisions to cover the border so we're gonna easily win. And I think my divisions are stronger than theirs anyways. That was pretty fast. They died really fast. 
All right, now I can farm Iberia. Nationalist Iberia. Look at that, that's pretty cool. I have Corazona land. Not the islands, though. But, you know, that's all right. Let's take the mainland. If I the mainland, the mainland that's pretty good. And I produce a lot of tungsten steel. My, my military factories doubled pretty much. So, I think that was really good. I can start making my medium tanks now. All right, look at our colonial empire, dude. Oh, we have, <laughs> yeah. Our colonial empire is pretty nice now. Look at that. Spanish Empire Reborn. Oh, look at our flag, too. Our flag looks cool. And this is my medium tank division, too, by the way. Um, I think it's pretty good. Its stats are decent. I just, I would, I would make it better. I would make it better, but I just really can't because I don't have the, uh, the biggest industry to do that. So I just need more military factories on tanks and, uh, and trucks. Actually, I could probably add another truck thing, but I, I can't add more tanks though because it's going to be uh, straining my my uh, tank production when I do start producing it. It'll be a while for the medium tank division, but I'll have them I'll have them in this game. I will. Don't worry. I will have them. I like my color. My colors, I like my color because my favorite color is yellow and I like this. It's like a brighter yellow. It's like a goldish, not really goldish, but like it's like a pea yellow but like a nice pea yellow color, if that makes sense. I, I like it, I like it. So like I said, I like it. I do have oil, I do gain a lot more oil now from that, from these colonies down here. This, I do, after I do this focus, which I get two free military factories from, I will go after uh, France and attack from the south. And actually I'm gonna, I have to worry about Gibraltar as well. So I'm gonna send like three divisions to do that. Take Gibraltar, I get Gibraltar, because I have cores on that. And then uh, I uh, attack France in the south, and I get their southern factories and, and their resources. Like this aluminum, that's some that's some nice aluminum. So I gotta I gotta take it before they they before the, the Germans take it. And I, actually the Germans are having a little bit of trouble. They're being pushed. Oh my god, look at they're being pushed by the Polish. What's going on? The, the Germans aren't winning it at all. Oh, they lost in the colonial game, clearly. I think I, I think to save the, the Axis, I'm gonna have to attack France in the south. Oh, I can I can join her now. Okay. I'm gonna be naval invaded for sure. There's no way I'm not going to be naval invaded. That's funny. This the Iberians have taken it. Oh oh, I called it. Naval invaded me. I, I gotta get, I gotta react. A Greek medium tank division is about, it's gonna die. See, now Germany is making a comeback now. In the Benelux, they're actually pushing. Another naval invasion, bro, I can't believe it. Yeah, I think these naval invasions are gonna be endless. It's by like random allied nations. Germany declared war on the Soviet Union. Come on, we don't have uh, the stuff for that right now, please. Jeez, that, finally they capitulated. I want, I want, I want that. I want, uh, uh, I had a reload of save because, um, I did a bad, I did, I did a mistake where I annexed all of Germany with the mod, say transfer tool mod, and I, uh, that's pretty bad. So I had a reload of save and I'm back before now. Killed France faster. Killed the little puppet, or the little puppet, the little nation right here, Andorra. And, yeah, nothing's really, nothing else has happened much. Um, Vich, the Vichy France, or the French state is really small. Germany formed this nation. I don't know what this means, but it's something Reich. It's something in German and then Reich. Uh, so I don't know. It's a like darker, darker black, brownish color or something. But uh, the Benelux is still alive too. Some of it's up in there. I think I'm gonna send my army up there to help them. I'm helping uh, Germany push into Poland because Germany has had problems with Poland this whole time, which makes no sense, but you know what? It's fine. It doesn't matter. We'll help them fix their problems, their mistakes. The Spanish or the Iberians. It's kind of weird. The Iberians fix fixing problems with the Germans somehow. There you go. 
You know what? Sure, I'll join them. I'll join them against the war against the Soviets. Gotta get these divisions over here. So I can start my invasion to this uh, the south of Russia. And hopefully capitulate Russia. So then I can start a naval invasion on the British. If I can, I don't know, because their navy is going to be huge. I don't really have a navy. I have a navy with 37 ships. So that's... I have... Really nothing. I don't got much of anything. So yeah, it's not the greatest thing in the world. I am guarding my ports now with one of my armies, so they can't just naval invade me. I only took the port. Why is the Greeks too? It's always the Greeks naval invading me for some reason. Man, if only uh, if only this happened in real life, man. It's just Spain just formed Iberian Iberian Union and then joined Germany. Germany when they're dying, killed France, and then uh. Got naval invaded a million times and then started helping the Soviets with the whole army in Eastern Poland. I think it could have been alright. It, it could have been good, you know? I, re I really like having the resources to do all this. Spain can get a lot of resources when you uh, do some thing, when you do some stuff. Come on, get to Kiev, get in Kiev, yes sir. Wow, the Spaniards or the Iberians took Kiev. Oh, finally, China has capitulated as well. Cool. Wait, what? Oh, the, the Soviets took my port city over there. Okay, that's kind of funny. Well, China's died now, and Kiev has fallen. Okay, that's just dumb. Let's just give this to China. This makes no sense to have that there. There you go. So we have a puppeted China, I Manchuria, and then Japan with all the coastline. Makes sense. The usual. Let's see what they do. They're not at war with anyone. They're, they're pretty strong after the war with uh, China. So let's see what they do. But I'm gonna keep pushing, helping, uh, help. Oh, here we go, boys. Have the medium tanks out. Look at this. We'll have old grandpa lead them. All right, let's test them out of combat. It's been a pretty weak, uh, weak Germany, very weak Germany. They're not producing much. They, they have a lot of factories. They just don't got a lot of divisions for some reason. My name is Ricky. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. My voice in my videos before, or my other videos, I think they've been a little quiet because I turned down my mic volume um, before I started recording and I forgot to turn it up. So I think, I hope it's louder now because my video, I've checked my videos before and it was a little quiet, I think, in my opinion. So, because the music was a little louder than my voice. So now I'm going to have my voice, I think, louder because I'm going to turn my thing up, turn my mic volume up. So I hope that fixes it. But if it doesn't, then oh well. I'm gonna have to talk louder then. But the first, yeah. So the the, the first good chunk of this video is gonna be quieter, I think. And then the other half, right now while I'm talking, it's gonna be louder because I turned my mic volume up. So and also the, uh, the the Germans still still do not have a lot of divisions. They're losing divisions. And they're not even able to man the whole front. Dude, my game is also running really slow as well. You can see the time up up there. It's really slow. I'm not even doing anything at this point. I'm just letting the battle battle plan towards it. Cause I don't really care anymore. Oh. Could that be them? Oh my god, they finally capitulated. Cool. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take anything. I do have a lot of war score though. Well, actually I can take stuff. Nice. With uh Russia dead, I have claimed my new land and uh just in the Caucasus, got all this oil. Actually, I don't get any of it because it's just, it's really bad occupation. But I, I have that now. I have that. And I also have Iberian Central Asia. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I think that's a win right there. Winning my books. But now the Axis reigns supreme over all of the Northern Hemisphere, pretty much. Nothing can be able to stop us. It's 1942. This is my empire. I lost all my colonies, but that is that's fine. At least I got uh, Middle Asia or Central Asia. So I think it's a victory. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video here. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was pretty interesting. It's a very interesting game. Japan had a pretty good game. Allies took off Africa and South America did nothing once again that's the usual south america usually doesn't do much anyways usa i didn't see much from the usa usa didn't do much yeah we also have what is this romania owns 
Norway, pieces of Norway. That's funny. Right, why do they own that? I don't understand. But I, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, see you guys in the next one. Uh, hit the subscribe, hit a subscribe, notification bell, and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.